now. Title and ready in one. This is the battle cry of a boat on a mission. With this race, Israel's mixed Paralympic rowing team qualified for the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games for the first time ever. A dream finally realized after years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. The team came together at the Daniel Rowing Center in Tel Aviv and is made up of diverse, differently abled athletes. For rowers Achia and Barak, rowing was a vital part of their rehabilitation process after they were injured during their service in the IDF. Achia, the boat's stroke seat rower, was severely wounded while on an operation in Gaza. I think for me the sport was my main re rehabilitation after my injury. The sport helped me to be back on track. It's helped to my confidence, to my, uh, my freedom. For me, sports is a part of life uh, and it's like to feel free again. Barack was wounded in his legs during his own military service and for a period of time was not able to walk. I started my rehabilitation process on my wheelchair and I started to play wheelchair basketball, actually. And alongside to side with that, I continue my rehabilitation and today I can walk and doesn't, and I don't need any kind of, uh, of help. Michal, the team's boat seat rower, is a teacher, but before her injury was a judoka for Israel in the 2004 Athens Olympics. It's not less exciting than I was in Athens. It's like it's different because I have the experience and I know what to expect, but I still have exciting and, and you know, we really wait for this. Their tiny but mighty coxswain Marlena decided to immigrate to Israel from California, all for the sport. I have never felt so much pride to be wearing the Israeli flag and representing the country on this level with my team. This is what I came here to do and to be able to actually see my dream like coming true is surreal. But the diverse background of the team is perhaps its greatest strength. And even people that come from different backgrounds, like I'm a mother of three, and he is a student, and she is working as a teacher. Like, we all in different positions in our lives. But when we come here, like, we are all athletes, and we are all even, and it, like, uh, bring us all together to the same purpose. While they will all be competing together under the Israeli flag, that national responsibility takes on a unique meaning for each of them. I'm going there as a wounded soldier. At the time that I protect the Israeli border, I get injured. And for me, it's kind of a closure to be there and represent Israel in different level, different stage, and to be sport ambassador. Uh, for me, it's very exciting to do it. To win a medal at the games, the team must place in at least two 2,000 meter races. A difficult feat. That's perhaps not always given the attention it deserves. I think that most people speak about the Olympic athlete and not about the Paralympic athletes. And I think that the Paralympics work hard as the other athletes, the Olympic athletes. If it will be more talked in the society or in the government, I think that maybe we will have more support. Every synchronized stroke shows their commitment to a shared goal, a triumph over what they have overcome and what they have yet to accomplish on their row to Tokyo.